Well, you now have just one more hour to file your taxes if you haven't already. The deadline, yep, is at midnight. Thanks for reminding us. <laughs> but tax day could, could become a thing of the past. That's only if Georgia Representative Buddy Carter gets his bill passed in Congress. And, of course, that would be a start. Our Brooke Butler joining us live in the studio to explain. Greg, Buddy Carter is pushing for the Fair Tax Act to be adopted. The act would eliminate federal taxes in exchange for a 23% sales tax, allowing you to keep all of your paycheck while making purchases more expensive. It would allow you to take home 100% of your paycheck so that you control where your hard-earned dollars go. Tuesday, Georgia Representative Buddy Carter, along with several other House Republicans, pushed for the adoption of the Fair Tax Act. H.R. 25, the fair tax, is a simple, fair, and preferred alternative to our current tax system, which puts bureaucrats before the basic needs of hardworking Americans. The bill would eliminate income, payroll, estate, and gift taxes and replace all of that with a 23% consumption tax. That means for every dollar you spend, 23 cents would go to the federal government. I agree, 23% is too high, but it's much better than what you're paying now. Supporters say the bill would essentially eliminate the need for the Internal Revenue Service. The fair tax is also a critical step to truly stop the weaponization of the IRS. Critics argue the act would benefit the wealthy and make things harder on low and middle income families. But supporters of the act disagree. I don't need to remind you that the federal government takes up to 37 percent away from families, away from your dinner tables, away from your gas tank. Under this proposal, Every legal American family will receive a prebate, as was mentioned. A prebate on their taxes up to the national poverty level. So don't tell me this about, oh, this is going to penalize the very least money earners. No, that's not the case at all. So, Brooke, the tax plan was first introduced back in 1999. So, technically speaking, it's, it's not anything that's new. Yeah, it's never made it very far, Greg. And if this bill did make it to the Senate floor, there's a good chance it will get shut down since the Senate is Democrat-controlled. Back to you. Well, the issue is back in the forefront again. Brooke Butler, live in our newsroom. Thanks so very much.